Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. Okay, so today I have for you guys a little chit chat, get ready with me, and um, we're just gonna be playing with some new makeup products, which you will see in my drugstore, which you will see in my drugstore makeup haul. One thing that I have gone ahead and did, cause I had to film a clip for my BoxyCharm unboxing, was I went in and just kind of spot concealed over some of these breakouts and the dark circles underneath my eyes. And I just realized that I forgot to prime my face. So I will be taking this off so that way I can, prime my face so anyways yeah I just had to spot conceal and do that really fast so I'm not I'm not really gonna use any new primers so I'm gonna go ahead and just skip over that okay so now that we are back I will be doing my brows on camera today okay so this isn't a first impression because I have used these so you're kind of gonna get like a little mini review and what I think so anyways elf came out with some new brow products they have their micro brow pencil which has a teeny tiny little tip and then they also came out with a brow pomade and I got mine in the shade espresso and the only reason I got espresso is because on Ulta this was the only shade that they had so we are going to go ahead and I don't like the brush that comes with it either like I feel like it's just a little bit too thick if you can see like the brush is just a little bit too thick to get the kind of lines you may want in your brows so and then this does this pencil does come with a spoolie so I guess starting off this chit chat get ready with me I will apologize for the crappy uploading during the holidays and recently this is the week of the 12th um, Ethan and the other two have come down with the flu again the first time they had the flu it was type B and now they have type A so it has been a fun one for me I am also getting over a really really oh the shade I got in the pencil is soft brown and so anyways for me it's been fun I've been getting over a pretty bad um, UTI I feel like I've had it for a while and I'm starting to think that that's maybe why my skin started freaking out is because there was an infection in my body and I just wasn't paying attention to it because I'm very much someone who like I hold my pee all the time like I can pee at like five o'clock in the morning and then I won't go pee like till noon or something like that like that's how bad I am within not going to the bathroom and so I think that's what triggered it but like I was saying, I think I was breaking out because of that infection in my body. I, I, I ignore pain. So I finally, with all the pain, and I think um, Tuesday I ended up being in really, really bad pain. Like lower, like like mid to lower back pain. Um, I was like, okay, I really need to go to the doctor. And so I ended up going with, and it was great because I ended up not even having a copay. The only thing we had to pay for was my prescription, which was $50. So it was still kind of expensive, but... Brian said like, oh, it was going to be way more had we not had the insurance. So I was like, okay, like that's cool. I mean, I guess like I still don't want to pay $50, but I guess it's better than paying, you know, like $100. And I'm very happy that now we have insurance because like I said, I do have the hernia issue. I do have the hernia issue, so we'll start making appointments for that. But yeah, I've been suffering from a really bad UTI. So the lesson I learned is go to the bathroom when you gotta go to the bathroom because this pain is no joke. Okay, so for my brows, I'm just gonna use this um, Moda Pro wine brush. And we're just gonna fill in our brows with this. So yeah, I kind of ignore pain till it gets like unbearable, I guess you could say. And I actually do like this brow pomade like i feel like it's really pigmented really easy to work with and like let's say like you see how i went too far on the tail right here it's really easy to just like clean that up i have been trying a new method when doing my brows which is cleaning them up and then it's like it's funny because once i started actually like cleaning my brows with concealer it was like one of those things of like trends to leave in 20 2019 and cleaning your brows was one of them and i was like of course of course but yeah it didn't bother me like I feel like with makeup like 
Just do you. Do what makes you happy. Do what flatters your face and your face shape. Like a lot of people don't get that. They can be like, oh, don't do this, but do do this. But it's like very specific to their face shape, their skin type, like, and their likes. That's why I don't do very really, that's why I really don't do like do's and don'ts or anything like that because I, I truly understand like, for instance, I have slightly hooded eyes, but not really bad hooded eyes. So if I watch somebody who has like these full, like flawless eyelids, like where they're not hooded at all like this, like I can't watch their do and don'ts videos because my eyes aren't shaped like theirs. You know what I mean? And so that's why I think that do's and don'ts are very like specific to features on your face. So I mean like you can, you can always try to do their do's and like it might not work out for you, but that doesn't mean that that person's wrong either. Like I said, I think it's very specific to face shapes, what you like, what you don't like, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And I think, I know a lot of people usually put disclaimers, but I think like it's good to hear that sometimes. And at the end of the day, like to me, cause Brian always asks me like, why do you like makeup? Like what is your interest in makeup? And it's like, it's, it's, it's never been that I've felt like I needed makeup to feel beautiful or to feel better about myself, but I've always loved what you can do with makeup and how doing other people's makeup can just give them such a confidence boost. So that's why I enjoy doing other people's makeup. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should, cause I do post a lot of uh, friends makeup that I do. And yeah, it comes out really, really beautiful. So I'm just gonna comb through this and make sure there's like no chunks, clumps, or anything like that. And this does like really stick to your brows. So I don't feel like you need to set, but I will just because powders and stuff will get on my brows. Okay, so another new thing that recently came out is that there's an e.l.f. eye putty primer. And so these remind me of this, the soft, um, the MAC paint pot. I've never tried them just because of the price. So when they came out with this, I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. Um, and I have mine in the shade Cream. I believe they had two, two or three different shades. I got this one. And now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lids. Since I'm not doing like a full, full glam, not saying my look won't, my makeup won't be full coverage, but it won't be full glam. Like this is just my go-to makeup look, like when I want to look really, really put together. Um, I will carve out my brows for full glam, but not for like a day like this. And really, I've just been practicing on how to carve out brows because like I said, it's something I've never really done before. I'm still trying to figure out like how to not put way too much concealer. I feel like I should try it with a foundation stick, which is a trick that I learned from Juicy Jazz that she learned from one of her other subscribers. And so I think I might try with the foundation stick because whenever I use like my cream concealer, like it's just, it's way too much. I've also started watching Makeup by PETA and she just, like I watch her vlogs and stuff and like her make, like she does her makeup and like even on Instagram, like I just watch her and like she does her makeup just about every day. I don't want to say all day every day, but like usually when you see her, like her makeup's done, but like it's just so simple and like you can tell she has makeup, but it just looks glowy and pretty and I'm like, girl... Like, you make me want to do my makeup every single day. Yeah, that's what kind of inspired me, like, to get back to filming. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is with another new product that I have, is I'm going to take this um, Rev Makeup Revolution Loose Setting Powder, and I have this one in the shade Lace. I always hear, not always, but I've heard Casey Holmes talk about this powder. And so I was like, well, I'll finally give it a chance because they say you have to try the lace one of this because like the banana and things like that, like just aren't good. So I was like, okay, trying the lace. And usually the lace is sold out, honestly. Like every time I've tried to buy it, like it's been sold out. Okay, so another little new thing that I got is this I Heart Revolution and I got the Choco Orange palette and it just looks like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this shade right here and buff that into my crease. You do definitely have to let the e.l.f. putty primer like sit there for a little bit because whenever you first apply it, like it makes my eyelids look super textured. But like if I set it, like if I put it on and then I go in and I set it, 
by the time I start applying my crease shade, like it actually looks really pretty and really smooth. But whenever I first apply it, like it looks super like textured. Like you can see every single little eyeline, uh, eyelid crease that exists on my eye. Okay, I didn't see any new mascaras whenever I was shopping, so what I'm going to do is go in with my CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara and just coat my top lashes. I feel like way too much comes on the wand and it's like clumpy on the wand, so then it, it distribute, distributes like little clumps onto your lashes. It's actually really cloudy and really rainy, so I was like, what better day? to film because I'll have the exact lighting that I want than today. I've been like praying for rain for such a long time because I'm just like, oh, it's so dry. And then like I wake up with like my nose really dry. And then like Bryson wakes up sneezing like crazy. So like we really, really needed the moisture. That's one thing that I like the most about like spring, summertime because it rains a lot more in West Texas, not like a ton, but a little bit more here in West Texas. And it's just like, ugh, I feel like I can breathe. I feel like it kind of cleans the air, if that makes sense. Now I did buy some new lashes that I had been wanting to try. And these are the Kish Blowout Lashes in Shigon, Shigon, Shignon, Shignon. It's a weird name. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on. These are beautiful lashes. I wore them on, Sunday to our family night. Okay, so lashes are on and look how pretty these are. Like these don't really look like they would look like this on your eyes. So I love it. I guess one thing, um, I haven't picked up any two new foundations, but I guess I'll go ahead and use the newest one that's dropped. And so this is the Photo Focus found the Photo Focus Foundation Dewy, and this is the one that they just came out with. I have mine in the shade Cream Beige. Anyways, I was going to say, I guess one thing I should address is the fact that I have a change the name on all my social media. Um, I just felt like it fit my, um, and also I have a Facebook page now, like a, a like page that you can go like, and that one's just Allie McKithen. I named it Allie McKithen, and now that I try to get the name changed, they're like, no, because you're going to be deceiving people. So that one has to say Allie McKithen. But um, it's now beauty and underscore Bible on all social media platforms. So that's for Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. And I just changed it because I felt like it just, I feel like it fit me more, if that makes sense. Because that's exactly what the purposes of my channel and the purposes of me wanting to join this platform is to incorporate not only outer beauty but in with inner beauty spiritual beauty mental beauty um and so i figured beauty and bible because the only reason the only way you can truly have a true spiritual mental and inner beauty is whenever your heart and your mind are enraptured into the thing of God, into the things of God. And I've learned that. And I feel like that's how when Brian met me because I look at old pictures of myself. Maybe I'll pop one on the screen of like when I was in the world and I don't feel like, and I'm not trying to sound like conceited or cocky or anything like that, but I don't feel like I look as beautiful then as I feel now if that makes sense. Like I look back at those pictures and I think like, how insecure was I to dress the way I dress and just crave that kind of attention? Like how insecure was I? And I'm so, in I'm so insecure. I'm so secure where I'm at now. Like that has a lot to do with Brian, but it has even more to do with who God has, what God has healed me from and who he has taught me that I am and what he has shown me that I'm worth. And so that's why I want to share that with other women. And that's why I constantly tell people my channel is not geared towards men in any shape, form or fashion. Um, even my teachings, my Jesus chats, my old What Does the Bible Say um, series. I did stop that series because I like the more laid back version of sharing with you guys of you guys not feeling like I'm talking the Bible at you. But my Jesus chat series, we're just chatting about a topic. But that's why I say my my no form of my channel is meant for men. It's always been meant for women 
since day one because I want to share with women who the Bible says that they are, who they can be, and what like what their worth is because if you're not if you don't look a certain way if you don't dress a certain way if you don't talk a certain way um if you don't have this many men in your life like it tries to teach you like oh you're nothing you're ugly you're this you're that and that's not the case whatsoever oh i'm trying out the new not trying out but i have used this once but i'm going in with the new elf hydrating camo concealer concealer it's a satin finish and i have mine in the shade medium peach and I really actually like this one. I never tried out the regular camo concealer because people would say that it was more drying. Like it's an exact dupe for the Tarte shape, ta shape Tape. And anytime people say it's a dry formula, I'm like, nope, nope. Me and this dry skin are not having a dry formula. But anyways, the world tries to tell you like if you don't live to its standards that you're worthless and it's not true. The world wants you to live by its standards so that way you're not living by God's standards. And when you're not living by God's standards, then you're living for Satan, no matter what people wanna tell you. And I think it's important that we get back in tune with God, remember who he calls us to be, what he's called us from, what he's saved us from. He's saved us from having to live by the world's standards and you know, like, it's not a charade here that I put on my show. I don't just talk about God and not live it a day out of my life just to get views or just to reach a certain audience. No, I do this because that's a, a huge part of my life. Like, God is my life. I don't share everything on social media. I don't show share everything on YouTube because, I mean, it is my life. Like, I don't have to share it with everybody or explain myself to everybody. But I do want to share the things of God. I do want to encourage you as a woman of what your worth is. Like, I do want to encourage you that it's okay to live for God and be celibate and be who he calls you to be without feeling like a loser. You really don't lose anything when you live, live for God. I feel like you gain everything. Okay, going in back in with that revolution powder in that lace and just gonna look up blend out the creases and then set so yeah i don't know that's the reason i started my channel and that's why i changed my name on social media so that way you know exactly what you're getting when you visit my social media and beauty with the purpose um i explained that beauty with the purpose be beautiful with the purpose the purpose to get to heaven the purpose to live for god um i feel like you have to be approachable and brian's teaching me this because i was telling him like i don't mind that people don't approach me because i'm not a friendly person i'm not the type of person to like just I'm not a people person, if that makes sense. Like, I love sharing the word of God, but I love that I can do it here on YouTube because I get, I trip over words and my heart starts racing and I get butterflies when I have to do it in person. And so that's why I love my platform. And that's what I told Brian, like, see, like, I feel like God's teaching you to teach in person because you don't get the feelings that I get. Like, I get nervous. I get true stage fright no matter what it is. I could be standing on stage singing with a group of people and I'm going to get stage fright. Like, that's just me. That's who I am. Going back in with that first shade that we used and we're just going to run it along our lower lash line. But yeah, that's why I like my platform because it, like, it doesn't... I'm not going to say it never has... But now that I'm more comfortable with it, like I don't get nervous, you know what I mean? Like I get nervous if I'm doing like a really touchy subject, like, oh, like this is gonna offend people. This is gonna make people mad. Somebody's gonna say I'm not teaching it right. But I like to share things the way that God shared them with me because I feel like maybe some people understand things on my level. And if they don't, then I'm able to break it down to where they do understand. So for instance, I have a video coming up on drinking alcohol and Brian was like you're really bold to make that video because a lot of people want to judge will try to judge you and I'm just like I mean I'm okay with people judging me because the word of God says that people who judge will be judged with the measure that they've judged you and so that's why I really really try not to judge people just for one nobody has room to judge just in my personal opinion and for two it's just like if you judge yourself you can usually correct yourself or find where you can correct yourself. And it's not saying that you can't correct people, you can't correct one another, but 
whatever you're correcting someone on, like make sure your household is in order before you do so. And if you're like, I don't have a whole household, like it's only me, well then make sure, make sure yourself is in order before you try to correct someone else. Because we all need correction, like that's what the Bible's here for, is reproof and re-edification and correction. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and go in with this Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer. And I got this one in the shame, shade Warm because I don't have a bronzer that is strictly to literally warm up your skin. Like all my bronzers are like cool tone contour shades. And so I got this one just to kind of warm up my skin because I do have a cool one. And it's number one. This one is O2 Warm. I don't remember it being that patchy when I did this combination last time though. Maybe this was a me thing. Maybe I went in with too much because it wasn't that patchy the last time I did it. Going in with a more defined brush and I did just buy this LA Colors Contour and Highlight Little Duo and I'm going to take the contour shade and just contour. <laughs> I need to like calm that down a little bit. And I'm gonna go in with this that we sh uh, set our eyelids with and just kind of try to tone that down. Don't think it's working. So we're just gonna have to, I mean, it is what it is. Okay, I actually really like these like little things from iHeart Revolution. And so this one, I got the peach and glow. So I'm definitely going to use this side of the blush. Okay, and then for highlight, I'm going in with this Flower Beauty palette, and I'm going to take this gold shade right here and just highlight, you know, the usual. I have like a pimple right where I always highlight, and Brian pointed it out. He was like, did you see that? And I was like, yes, Brian. I look at my face every day. Yes, I see every pimple. You don't have to point them out in that same shade and just getting the inner corners. This eyelash, I'm gonna have to take it off and then apply it. Going to go ahead and set my brows. And I do always go in back in with the curler just to combine everything. So obviously if this isn't new, you guys know I do this all the time. So I'm just gonna spray the butt of my sponge with my glow dewy mist. And then I did grab this Revolution, Revolution Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Setting Spray. Now the scent on this is not the best, but the product itself is great. The scent reminds me of like, when you were a kid, did your mom ever give you like throat spray, like the red throat spray? That's what the scent reminds me of, of how that tastes, if that makes sense. I don't know, probably doesn't. But the scent of that reminds me of what that red throat spray tastes like. We're gonna dry this off and then we'll do lips. Okay, so for lips, this isn't super new, but it is recent. Um, I think I've already showed you guys this. So I'm going on with this Pro Fusion Matte Lip Liner in the shade Charm. And I'm just gonna fill in my lips completely with this. Okay, and then I have this ColourPop Ultra, Go Gl Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Swan Song. This actually came in a little duo. Mm. Smells good, like, like a candle from Bath & Body Works. Okay, so obviously it is ultra glossy. Okay, I'm going to go do something with this and we will be right back for the outro. Okay guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed chatting with me today. If you like my chit chat, get ready with me is more than like makeup tutorials where I kind of show you what I'm using and doing, but we're just chatting um, instead of just strictly all about the makeup. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.